be like so three tips you could give to people starting out mining in 2022? Uh, I would say start small. Like try, if you're brand new, one card. If you don't have a computer already that can mine, you know, and there's different ways to mine. I mean, we're talking on, uh, you know, nice talk here today. So, uh, you know, doing nice hash and doing a broker service to just let it optimize, let it configure your stuff, get a good test to understand, you know, the load and, and understanding how, like, you know, you get payouts and how you get your wallet set up. So start small. Um, and then under start to understand that and then start to scale up to something that makes sense for within your budget and, uh, you know, understand the longer term that, that, that mining in general is about just yield. You're, you're, you're earning yield and while you can book it to current price, it's always been a forecast for future. So there is a, a strategy to it. It isn't like you mine and you immediately sell. I've never recommended that. And I mean, we have to always do the not financial advice. I will tell you what I do. Um, we never sell everything or all the way, right? It doesn't make any sense. Even if we're at close to equilibrium profitability, where we, where we hit like in uh, March of 2020, where we had $86 Ethereum price, the network was about 153 terahash. You do the math on like nine cents per kilowatt, you're right about there, um, which we look at our all in costs. We're about six and a half cents at our big farm. Um, but there's still delivery and we have people there. So I, I take all the costs and blend them up to see what my relative rate is to operate uh, and then turn that into an equation to figure out what my real uh, operating uh, per cents per kilowatt is, which is a common way to do things. So most people kind of just look at their kilowatt hour, but you're investing time. And if you have other people helping you, you're investing that. Take all those costs, roll it into what your hash rate and your output is. And then get that as your kilowatt hour, because at the end of the day, it's a bottom line thing. How much are you paying to run and operate? I don't care what your kilowatt hour cost is, right? It's, like, it's, your total it's the total cost? amount of, yeah. it's your, it's your total cost. Cause that's, what's coming out of your pocket. So it's figure out that rate. And then when is your equilibrium there? So, you know, get it optimized. Uh, so to go back to your question, start small, um, take a look at your current uh, rates, understand what you're going to be paying for power. Cause that's usually a shocker for people when they look at what the output is and then they get their bill and they're like, wait a minute here. I mind like $200 in crypto and I have like a $180 power bill. And you have to deduct the fact that your house and everything else is using power. But it wasn't that the miner costed you 180 and you usually pay 90, take off that 90. Now you've paid 90 in power. Um, and you've made 200 in crypto and that's considered a profit, right? So understand and uh, set yourself up to succeed um, by understanding the numbers and then you've set your expectations accordingly and then from that uh, partner up like uh if you're wanting to scale your operation there's a ton of people out there that want to get into this and look at maybe hedging some of that risk and hedge some of that with you've learned the experience um don't go in it alone like Sometimes, you know, mixing, you know, friends and family with business kind of can be sketch, right? So understand who you're getting into business with. But like, there's a lot of enthusiastic people in this space, go to meetups. We're trying to do that with our crypto world. So we have a retail store where we have like Bitcoin uh, and coffee in the mornings on Tuesdays and Bitcoin and beer on Thursday nights. And it's just, you know, collaborative mining, very centric. Uh, event where people are just talking about hash rates and like how, how they can optimize things. And then you might have an option where you can co-locate with somebody and that they have a better power deal. So ask around, just don't accept your current home rate. There are options out there uh, everywhere where people are already doing it. Maybe you can co-locate. So. Uh -huh.